This is 30-year-old Mindy. She fell in love with 60-year-old Larry. When Larry and I first got together, I was very aware that Larry could not have children because he did have the vasectomy over 25 years ago, and I was okay with that. But just before their wedding, Mindy had second thoughts. I was like, oh my gosh, what if I do want children? Larry took up the challenge, but their journey to conceive hasn't been easy. With numerous rounds of IUI and IVF. I decided to do the pregnancy test at home. We're pregnant now and expecting a baby. The couple shared their news online, but received a lot of hate because of their age gap. He's gonna be dead in five minutes. Why are you having a baby with this old man? Oh, that's so nice. The grandfather came to his graduation. Where's the father? Are you very hungry? Sure. Okay. Would you like some apples? Sure. Hi, my name is Mindy, and I'm about to have a baby with my husband, Larry, who is 30 years older than me. We met each other when she had a minor traffic crash, and I was the responding officer to take the report for the traffic crash. Here you go, babe. Thanks, Mink. We fell in love, got together, and it just felt so natural and lovely, but we definitely didn't expect it. We weren't looking for it. When Larry and I first got together, I was very aware that Larry could not have children, and I was okay with that. And then about a month before the wedding, I was like, oh my gosh, what if I do want children? I have to tell him before we just get married. I have to let him know. After initial concerns of not being able to have a biological child, Larry agreed to try for a baby. We knew that we couldn't naturally get pregnant because Larry did have the vasectomy over 25 years ago. After three failed IUI procedures using donor sperm, our fertility team really pushed us in the direction of IVF. And so we dabbled down that road and decided to use Larry's sperm and have our baby together. It is a very pricey procedure. And then you're putting your body through a lot of hormones to be able to get pregnant. A lot of painful injections for her. <laughs> Which he had to administer all of my shots. So far, we're checking my bladder to make sure it's full. If it's full, we're good to go. Yay! Three, two, four. Was that it? Yes. Oh my God! Around Christmas time, I decided to do the pregnancy test at home, and we laid it on the table after I had, you know, done the test, and we flipped it over together and looked at it together. Oh God, please. <laughs> Moms and dads together. And here we are, we're now pregnant, and Mary and I are having a boy. It's a boy. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I really don't think I get judged too much about the age gap relationship from family and friends, but online, still definitely sometimes you get the judgment. The new judgment that we get since we announced that we were pregnant is that it's a very selfish decision on our part because Larry, and I'll put it in quotes, will obviously pass away before the child grows up because yeah. of the age. People at his graduation are gonna think, oh, that's so nice, the grandfather came to his graduation, where's the father? I've heard that before, yawn. Yeah, we've kind of heard it all, but or he'll be dead. I might be, I could die tomorrow. Our friends and family were so excited to find out that we were pregnant and everybody's just been so sweet and supportive and they're really excited to meet our little one, which is really nice. So this is where the baby's gonna be staying. And then we have the crib. The crib. As you can see, it is in a box. And Larry, do you so kindly want to build it for me? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> we are so excited to have this baby together. Ready. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Thanks. Yeah! Mm. It's not cooperating. <laughs> I have a son who's 30 years old, and when he was growing up, I was on call 24 hours a day, and there was a lot of things I missed because of work, and I don't have that now. Larry's son Bruce just came down for a visit mm -hmm. and he's very excited as well and 
He's looking forward to meeting him once little one does arrive. Yeah. I have a brother. So it feels amazing finally getting to decorate the baby's room. For such a long time, it was a guest bedroom. And now we're finally here. It makes it feel so surreal and that he's due any minute. Like he's coming and that's very exciting. That's heavy. Is it heavy or is it stuck? Uh, I think it's heavy. Got it? I've got it. Larry and I have never really talked about the problems of him being an older dad and what that could possibly mean down the road. We live in the moment. I mean, we're not naive, you know, in that way, but you can die at a young age. You know, that doesn't, to me, that... I don't think they sent instructions. I think they're in here. Oh, are they? This is like an envelope, I think. Just the fact that we know that Larry and I will be able to provide shelter and love and food and safety, that's what's important to us. This is the part that's never... <laughs> Never easy. I have hardware. Okay. This is in not English. Uh huh. Oh, there's an English version and there's a Spanish version. Okay, we got the English version. So excited to be a first time mom and so excited to have Larry by my side. And like he said, he's able to be there with me and help. And he's just, he's amazing. Take another one of these. Are you sure? Not 100%, no. Because we have to be 100%. Yeah. Cannot mess up the baby's crib. No. That would be bad. Let's go. I'm not too sure about this. He's so incredibly smart, and to be able to teach our baby amazing things and history, which is Larry's favorite. Mm -hmm. The last piece. You like? Yeah. plan to go back and try again for a second baby and just raise our family. Good you job, Hank. Thanks, good job you. And explore and have fun. It's just gonna be such an incredible experience that we're so excited to do together. We have two trans kids. Anyone can be whoever they want. I'm just owning it. Our family is seen to be very unconventional. So I had kids and I can't be hot anymore. Like, moms are hot too. People say I look like a thug, but I love thugs. I take that as a compliment. I'm bored of people thinking that I cannot be intimate. I'm a young, single, hot piece of disabled booty. I feel like I'm going to look at myself and be like, who is that? Life is way too short to be hiding. It is my story, it is my truth.